Hey friends, welcome to Refresh. We are starting week two with shoulders and cardio. So what you're gonna need is just a variety of weights. It's gonna be low impact kickboxing style cardio. And the way that this workout is gonna work is we are gonna go through five shoulder exercises. We have 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and we're gonna go through each exercise three times. And what we're gonna do, just to mix it up, is we're gonna go through all five, and then we're gonna go back to the top and go through all five, same thing, yes? Then when we get to that cardio, we have five exercises. We're gonna go through them all for 45 seconds, resting for 15 seconds, powering through three times. Are you ready to do this? Let's get warm, let's work hard. Here we go. Nice big shoulder rolls. Let's get the shoulders ready to work. And we're gonna have a combination of heavy lifting and lighter lifting because we're going to be working time under tension roll to the front and we have some challenging exercises <laughs> so we're going to have a little mix today and just open and close those arms stretch out the arms here so we really want to like lengthen out through the chest and then round through the back just a little bit just to get the body warm and let's go into some arm swings swing it to the front swing it to the back Awesome. Okay, take one arm across, give a little tug, and just kind of want to loop your arm under and just pull, just to get a little stretch down that deltoid to get it ready to work. And let's switch. Yes, right? Does not feel so good. Okay, we're just going to do little side lunges side to side, right here. Getting our lower body ready for the cardio. This is what we call dynamic stretching, meaning that we're moving through the stretches, we're not holding them. That's something we like to do when we're working on flexibility. Stop here in the middle, hands on your thighs, round up, and release it. One more time, round up, and release it. And this time, reach to the floor, straighten the legs, try to stretch out through those hamstrings and roll it to the top. Just a little bitty jog in place. You guys ready for this? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my weights in front of me that I'm gonna wanna use. Because we only have a 15 second rest, it means we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so, what I want you to have is a pair of heavier, not your heaviest, but heavier weights, then a medium pair, and then a light pair. Okay, so that you have some options. Feeling good? Do it now. I'm not going to go as heavy as normal, so my heaviest for today will be 12 pounds. I'm going to get those weights ready, line those, line those up. Then I want you to go for kind of a medium. I'm going to go for 10 pounds as my medium, and then I'm going to have all the way down to fives as my light. I think I'm going to throw eights in there just to be safe. Okay. So, a little lineup of weights. This way you can easily transition from exercise to exercise. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you quickly what all five are so that we can just get into this. First exercise is what I call a swimmer press, also sometimes called a pec deck, no clue why. You're gonna be here, okay, like you're a goal post. We're gonna bring the elbows together, open. Together, open. Trick, elbows need to stay high so we really focus on those shoulders. Yes, okay. Then we have a move that I like to call the bow and arrow, okay? So one arm is gonna go straight while the other arm pulls back. So we've got here, come down, here, come down. So, okay, like a bow and arrow, right? One arm straight, one arm pulls back, we come down, we switch. Go a little lighter for that, okay? We wanna be very careful. Then we're gonna go into just good old fashioned lateral raises, okay? Lateral raises, can't beat them. They're my favorite, they're the best. Lateral raises, you got it. Then we're gonna go for an up and over. You can hold one larger weight or two weights, up and over, up and over. So we're pressing overhead, coming back to the other side, pressing overhead, coming back to the other side. Yes? Okay. Last one is what I call a half angel for the crisscross. So we're gonna come down, then we're gonna cross, open, back to the top down, we'll switch which one crosses, cross, 
open. This is where you want to go for your lightest. Yes, okay. Let's do it. So, swimmer press, you could go with your heaviest weight, which to me is only going to be 12 pounds today because I got to keep the elbows lifted and the short rest periods are going to fatigue my muscles very fast. So be very mindful of that. Keeping form at all times, it's not a race. So I want really good quality movements over fast, okay? Fast is not the goal here. So elbows are gonna stay high, shoulders are gonna stay down, chest is open, core is in. Here we go. Bring it together, open it back up. Bring it together, open it back up. That's the pattern right here. Now, as you're coming together, I want you to think, I wanna bring my elbows together. Or like you're squeezing a balloon and you're gonna squeeze with the inside of your elbows. I don't know about you, my arms are shaking already. Okay, we have five seconds. Rest. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to my eights, skipping over my tens for now, for the bow and arrow. Because I got that pullback, a little more complicated. Yes, this takes a little bit of coordination, so just tell yourself what you're doing. You'll be fine. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Bow and arrow. Switch sides. So one arm's gonna go to the front, one arm's gonna pull back like you're drawing back your bow and arrow. We gotta use a little brain here, right? Because it actually takes a little bit of coordination, so we're gonna be powering up our brain for this one, as well as our shoulders. Rest, okay, we're gonna to go to lateral raises. I'm actually gonna stick with my eights. I was gonna to go to my tens. I'm gonna stick with my eights and maybe go up in the next round. Okay, so shoulders are down, chest is open. Are you ready? Here we go, lateral raise. Lower back down. No, I would love it if you get to the top of that lateral raise. Hold it for a second. Lower it back down. It's a great way to build strength. Up, hold it. Lower it back down. Up, hold it. Lower it back down. Get that tiny little isometric contraction at the top before you slowly lower back down. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tens. I'm gonna hold two weights together for this up and over. You can also just hold one larger weight if you prefer. So we're gonna start on one side, we're gonna press up and come to the other side. Here we go. Up, come down. Up, come down. Control it on the way back down. And I don't want you to hit your shoulder. So when you come down, hover right above your shoulder so that we're stopping it, so that we don't actually hit our shoulder. Almost there. One more time, up and over, and rest. Okay, go down to your lightest. I'm gonna do fives which might be ambitious. Maybe threes would be better. Half angel crisscross. Are you ready? From the top, here we go. Halfway down, cross it in front, open it back up to the top. Halfway down, cross it in front, open it up, back to top. Oh my goodness, right? I might go to threes <laughs> for the next round. Ooh! 
almost there. And rest. I'm gonna grab the threes, you guys, because I'll tell you what, that at the end, fifth exercise, oh, okay, are you ready for the swim press? I'm actually gonna drop down a little bit of weight because I can feel the fatigue setting in. <laughs> Here we go. So we're back to the top. I'm dropping down the knees. Yeah, I'm just, it's one of those days. I will also say, I've been battling a nasty sinus infection, and so I have not felt my strongest this week, and I gotta be smart about that, right? So you might have those weeks where you're like, I can't go as heavy. I'm coming back from a cold or whatever. That's okay. And rest. Okay, we got the bow and arrow. So it's perfectly fine to have those weeks where you're like, I just can't go as heavy. And especially if you're recovering from something. And for me, I'm on like day nine of my sinuses just being a mess. Here we go. And it definitely zaps you when your body is trying to fight off an infection. And I will say, when it comes to working out and being sick, if you just have a cold and you can breathe and you're okay, it's okay to show up for your workout. Maybe you don't go as hard and maybe you kind of keep that cardio light. If you have a fever, something like stomach flu or something, you gotta skip the workout. But you can also kind of gauge for yourself if you feel like you can do it. And if you're like, no, my body needs the rest, then take the rest. I feel mostly okay, but my breathing's a little off. And rest, I'm gonna stick with these weights. Mostly I feel okay, but definitely a little weaker than my normal. But I do feel good when I move my body. Even if I'm a little bit sick, I feel good. Here we go. You're getting that little pause at the top. Whew. And rest. I'm just gonna stick with these weights again, even for the up and overs. The thing too is when we have short rest periods, we fatigue our muscles so much faster. So you can get a great burn with those muscles even if you're not going heavy. Here we go. And I love training both ways. Going really heavy, having longer rest periods, and then going kind of with medium to light and shorter rest periods. Both are great, I love both of them. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. That was a reminder to myself also. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop to threes. Yes, and I'm probably still gonna feel it. So we've got the half angel with the crisscross, and then we're back to the top one more time. Shoulders down. I don't know about you, but I got a serious fire in the deltoids. Serious fire. Here we go. And open. And cross and open and lift. This exercise is kind of particularly hard because we never lower our arms. We go right back and we gotta hold them overhead right here to stop in front of us like we're holding them up pretty much the whole time. That's hard. <laughs>
Almost there. And rest. Okay, we are going back to the top. Back to the top, last time through. How are your shoulders? Mine are burning. They're burning. That's, it's just, they are, they're burning. Okay, here we go. Now make sure you're paying attention to that core engagement right here too. Because when we engage our core, no matter what we're doing, we're help supporting our lower back and working our abs. I mean, it's a two for one, right? Oh, quick rest. Okay, nope. <laughs> Head back into it. Don't take too long of a rest. You won't jump back in. If you gotta let go for a second, it's totally okay, but jump back in. Don't just sit there and wait it out. Jump back in, fight for it. And rest. Oh, right? Okay, bow and arrow. So our press looks like it's easy. It is so not. <laughs> You're keeping your elbows up the entire time. It's hard. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Do I sound like a whiner baby today? A little bit. I'm actually really digging this bow and arrow. It's fun. And rest. Okay. Lateral raises. We got this. It's no problem at all. It's no problem at all. Okay. Core is in. Shoulders are down. Chest is open. Here we go. Lift it. Control it on the way back down. And sometimes what I see people do is this. Okay, see that big swing? You're not really working your shoulders when you do that. You're getting a lot of back action, but not in a healthy way. So if you find that you have to sort of like oomph the weight up, it's too heavy. And honestly, like the number on your weight does not matter as much as how you use that weight and control the muscles. Your muscles don't care what that weight says. They wanna be challenged. Whatever that weight is that challenges them is great. It doesn't matter. You don't have to keep up with anybody else for what they're using. And rest. Okay, for the upper upper press this time, I'm going to use one weight. Just because it's easier to hold. So I'm just going to hold one weight for up and over. Okay. So load it up on one side. Core is in. Got a nice stance. Here we go. Now you'll notice I'm just using one 10 pound weight. Yeah. I am going fairly light today, but I am still working hard. And rest. Okay. I'm gonna just set these to the side. Alright, let's do these angels arms with the crisscross, and then we're gonna finish up with our cardio. Are you ready? Okay, get them up overhead, core is in, and keep those ribs in too. And down. And what I mean with that with the keep the ribs in is we don't want to flare them. This is flaring them. Pull that in, okay? Which is also in there with engaging your core. So you want to pull that core in, wrap that core together, and pull the ribs in. Sometimes when things get hard, we start flaring like that. But then we start arching our back, and we get lower back pain, and nobody wants that. And 
and rest. Okay, set your weights all out of the way. We got a little cardio to do to finish up this session. It's gonna be a little kickboxing cardio, but it is low impact. Now, let me have that that they're saying not, no impact, low impact, because inevitably somebody will say, that's not low impact. Yes, it is. It's just not no impact. Okay. I just felt like I needed to say that. Here we go. First exercise, we'll have all on one side, all on the other side. You're going to jab and jab, jab and jab. A little pivot on your foot, jab. All one side, all the other side. That's what I'm going to give you for this first set. 45 seconds, 15 second rest. We'll do it on the other side. Are you ready? Here we go. Jab, 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 jab. You're just gonna do a little pivot on that foot that's stationary when you go to the front. Now, if you don't wanna do that, because the pivot hurts, you can just do like a little step. So see, I'm just gonna step in my foot. For some people, that pivot doesn't feel good. Totally get it, and you don't have to do that. You can do this. You can also be here, 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 here. If you need to keep your feet in place, that's cool too. I need you to choose what works best for your body, and only you know that. Rest. Okay, you have 15 seconds. I'm gonna water. Then we'll do the same thing to the other side. My water, by the way, loaded up with vitamin C. Get this cold out. <laughs> Love it. Here we go. So you can move your feet. If you want to move your feet like this, that's awesome. Or you can do that little bitty pivot. Rest. Okay, we have cross jabs. One, two, three, four. One, two. So four low, two cross. Yes? Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Cross, cross. One, two, three, four. Cross, cross. There you go. One, two, three, four. Cross, cross. One, two, three, four. Cross, cross. Now, once you get it, if you want to pick up the pace, you can. If you need to say it in your head, that's awesome. Do it. One, two, three, four, cross, cross. Sometimes just saying things in your head makes it easier. And rest. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is what you have. March front and back and jack and jack. March, march, back, back, jack and jack. Here we go. Front, back, jack, jack. Front, back, jack, jack. That's it. Very basic here. To the front, great. Burn out the thighs just a little. And rest. One more exercise and then we go back to the top. What you have is a step touch with a jab. Step touch, jab, step touch, jab. Okay? Little step touch, little jab across. That's it. Here we go. Step touch, jab. And I'm kind of making it like a little step touch leap, but my feet are not really like 
leaving the ground per se. I'm just trying to keep a bend in my knees and as big of a step touch as I can before I jab across. trying to give that to you for this program. Short, effective, get it in, get it done. Ready, here we go. And you know what? You don't have to work out for long periods of time to get results because strength training doesn't have to take a long time to see results. Fat loss happens through nutrition, not through workout. So you don't have to be in the gym for two hours <laughs> trying to lose weight. That's not going to work. So let's get in there to strength train, build these muscles stronger, and then get ourselves in the kitchen to make healthy foods to drop the fat so that we can see the muscle. You know what I mean? Rest. High lows. I'm sorry. Lows and cross. Four lows and cross. Did you get all that little hand motion I just did to explain it? <laughs> Was that not completely, uh, not matching? Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, cross, cross. So 
so close to being done. Hang in there with me. And rest. Okay. You're done. You're done. You crushed it. You're amazing. Here we go, arm across. Stretch out the shoulder. Let your heart rate come down just a little bit. How you feel? Good? I feel good. A little sweaty, a little tired. Pretty good. And let's do the other arm across. And I'll tell you what, there are definitely days where I'm like, I do not want to work out. Like, I'm not feeling it. I want to sleep in or whatever, but I always do it anyways because it's my habit. But there has never been a time ever in all my years I've done fitness, never been a time where I've gotten to the end of the workout and go, no, I wish I didn't do that. It's never happened. I get to the end of a workout and I always go, I'm so glad I showed up for this. I feel so much better. Okay, clasp your hands behind your back and just open up and pull. So there will be days. There will be days where you're like, I don't want to do it. It'll happen, but I promise you that those days, you'll feel so good when you get to the end. When you show up anyways and you get to the end, you will never get to the end and go, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't do that today. Always feel better, like really. Even if it's not your best workout, it wasn't your best effort, it wasn't the heaviest you could go, it doesn't matter, you'll feel better. Okay, one foot out, heel down, toe up, and sit on back, let's just get a little hamstrings. to increase your flexibility and stretch for a little longer, I've got a playlist with stretching, flexibility-based exercises. Feel free to add that in. Um, the more you do it, the more consistent you are, the more flexible you get, the better your range of motion, and the better your workouts feel, and just your body and everyday life. So if you have time to squeeze at least a couple sessions a week, that's ideal. Definitely stretching after every workout, super important. Sometimes for me too, before going to bed, I just like to do a couple little stretches because I just feel relaxed before I go to sleep. And come on up. We're gonna go ahead and hinge forward and just touch the ground. And we're gonna think of pulling our tailbone up towards the ceiling is so that we really lengthen in the hamstrings. Hamstrings tend to be the tightest for most people. They definitely are for me. All right, are you ready? Let's roll it to the top. You made it, you made it. Thank you for working out with me today. I'm so thankful every day that you show up and do this with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're new to joining me, comment down below and introduce yourself because I love getting to know everybody. I love that I have conversations with so many of you and know you by name, like we're friends. And so if you're new here, I wanna be friends with you too. Comment down below, tell me something about yourself. Let me know how long you've been working out with me. If you're doing a program with me for the first time, I would love to know that. I just like to get to know you guys and just feel like we're a family working out together. That's what makes this really satisfying for me. So I would love to get to know you. And if you've been working out with me for a long time, share your journey with me. I love it when you guys comment and tell me things because it just makes me feel like we're doing this together. And that's what I love about this. So. Have a great rest of your day. Drink plenty of water. Go get those nourishing foods. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.